Little Red Riding Hood and the Wolf by Roald Dahl. As soon as Wolf began to feel that he would like a decent meal, he went and knocked on Grandma's door. When Grandma opened it, she saw the sharp white teeth, the horrid grin, and Wolfie said, may I come in? Poor Grandmama was terrified. He's going to eat me up, she cried. And she was absolutely right. He ate her up in one great big bite. But Grandmama was small and tough, and Wolfie said, that's not enough. I haven't yet began to feel that I have had a decent meal. He ran around the kitchen yelping, I've got to have another helping. Then he added with a frightful leer, I'm therefore going to wait right here till little Miss Riding Hood comes home from walking in the wood. He quickly put on Grandma's clothes. Of course, he hadn't eaten those. He dressed himself in coat and hat. He put on shoes and after that, he even brushed and curled his hair, then sat himself in Grandma's chair. In came the little girl in red. She stopped. She stared. And then she said, What great big ears you have, Grandma. All the better to hear you with, the wolf replied. What great big eyes you have, Grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to see you with, the wolf replied. He sat there watching her and smiled. He thought, I'm going to eat this child. Compared with her old grandmama, she's going to taste like caviar. Then little red, little red Riding Hood said, But Grandma, what a lovely great big furry coat you have on. That's wrong, cried Wolf. Have you forgot to tell me what big teeth I've got? Oh, well, no matter what you say, I'm going to eat you anyway. The small girl smiles. One eyelid flickers. She whips a pistol from her knickers. She aims it at the creature's head. And bang, bang, bang! She shoots him dead. A few weeks later, in the wood, I came across Miss Riding Hood. But what a change! No cloak of red, no silly hood upon her head. She said, hello, and please do note my lovely, furry, wolfskin travelling coat. <laughs>